So in this video, I will be testing out a new piece of gear that I got. A uh, shout out to my photographer friend, Chad Harnish. I'm on my way en route to my experimental zone, in the middle of nowhere, no man's land, to try out some of my like extra wacky ideas to, to not be bothered. This is a do not try at home video. That's the disclaimer. I got one of those mosquito foggers where it's you pour like the brand specific juice into it, screw in a propane tank. The propane tank lights, it heats up these coils and it vaporizes like the mosqu anti mosquito fog juice. And you spray it in your bushes, on your grass, wherever. And it's supposed to like kind of choke out the mosquitoes. A little hack that Chad pointed out to me was instead of that mosquito fog, you put in mineral oil. And it's the same situation, it heats up and it spews out this, uh, like a fog. And it's great because it replaces like smoke bombs. I bought the unit itself for about, I wanna say I think 80 bucks off Amazon. Then I just went to like say CVS or something, picked up the uh, mineral oil, a little propane tank I got, maybe Home Depot or something. All right, so I'm here in the woods, hang out at a fire pit just in case it does start turning into a flamethrower. So here we go. Beginner steps here. You're gonna want to unscrew this. Picked up a 32 fluid ounce container, and I still have uh, I don't know. I want to say that's probably about four to eight ounces, or oh, somewhere in there. So, I also picked up a smaller container, but this one would probably be like on point. Alright, so I got that going. Next, as you can see, you just screw in the propane tank into the back here. Alright, well then, let's see. Uh, you can see and you could hear it. You could hear the gas in there. You could feel the heat. You could kind of see the flame. The flame's a little dim, but you know what? Here, we'll set it down, give it a little bit to heat up. It's been about over three minutes now. Coils are looking pretty good. Ah, there we go. Yep. Feeling good? So that's a pretty good amount of smoke just for a couple pinches of the trigger, as you can see. All right, and we're at about four minutes now, over four minutes. Uh, the propane heats up the coils and then the coils are filled with the, um, the mineral oil and then it vaporizes the mineral oil and spews it out which is the smoke that we see now from what I hear it could get kind of dangerous if you are very persistent on like forcing the mineral oil out when it's not fully vaporized and that might trigger you know uh, like flames If you are in a windy area, the wind will affect the coil strength and the heat. So you might want to give it a little bit more time before you really release the, the fog. But overall right now, not really experiencing any uh, flame spatters or anything like that. So in general, it's pretty nice. Definitely uh, gonna be bringing this along on photo shoots with me without a doubt. And then to turn it off, very simple, just grab Turn it over to the minus, which will cool the flame down, and then the cool down process will begin. All 
Oh yeah, so as you can see, just from playing around with it, we really hazed up the uh, surrounding woods. Speaking about mosquitoes already, I probably got bit up like a couple times. Oh man, the mosquitoes around here. Come out is I got this fogger right off Amazon and yeah, definitely gonna be bringing it to photo shoots. Looks great. Definitely, especially in the sunlight, you're gonna get the rays of the sun coming down through the branches. Ooh, it's gonna be super exciting. I might consider doing in the future, which could be interesting, is adding, say, like, fragrant oils to the mineral oil so like it smells better so I mean it's kind of hard to describe what it like the vaporized mineral oil smells like <laughs> I would compare it to um, you know uh, going to like say a harbor freight maybe and getting like a new box of metal uh, drill bits perhaps never been to a hardware store before and smelled like the the metal tools as a lubricant for any kind of metals to as they're being manufactured so definitely a pretty cool tool little hack little photographer hack as you may call it um, yeah don't don't try that at home as a disclaimer. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be trying it at home personally. <laughs> so if you wanna keep supporting my videos, give me a subscription, check me out at www.catacomb.tv. There I have all kinds of different video series where it's like, like this behind the scenes and then also my um, dark tr tourist travel vlog. Also, I have all kinds of like uh, beginner videos for people looking into you know, try out occult practices and stuff like that. So again, follow me, subscribe to me at Catacomb Culture, Instagram, Facebook, and also, yeah, definitely give me a subscribe here on YouTube.